Coming from the background of martial arts and gaining my secondary black belt in World Taekwondo Federation, I definitely had the perspective when the cancer hit that I was going to take it down, that I was, was going to bring it to the mat and uh, using roundhouse kicks and hook kicks and, and all kinds of metaphorical images in my mind that I was under attack, I was in a place of war, and I was going to take this cancer down. And so I would have many images, oftentimes, and dreams that would back that kind of approach up. I had an encounter with a woman who was a four-time cancer conqueror, and she shared with me something very profound that I will never forget. She said, Lauren, have you ever considered that nothing thrives in a state of war? And as we flip our perspectives that our bodies are turning against us, and betraying us and flip it into the question, what can I do in my mind to send love to all parts of who I am? Whether that be in my spirit and allowing God's love to flow in that way and light up every cell in my body, whether it be in my mind and I allow the light of love and thoughts that are good, right, true, beautiful, excellent, and praiseworthy to guide me throughout my day, whether it be in my emotions to be able to respond to life with a place of compassion and love and acceptance and forgiveness, or in my body. Can I accept myself with or without hair, with or without breasts? And as I flipped this perspective, one from war to one of love, I regained an incredible interior strength that gave me the ability to remember that love has the last say and love heals versus the actions of war tear down and separate and destroy. Breathe in through your nose and release. In the next 24 hours, I invite you to do an internal reflection and see if there's any areas that are battling in your mind, between your mind and your body, between your mind and your emotions, between your soul and your body. See if you can identify one area where you are battling and remember that nothing thrives in a state of war. 